No, but I would have thrown the 3D print. I'd have simply tossed that at everybody because then you put it in a you put it in the category of what was Alice? 3D. What was uh, Pirates? 3D. What was Harry Potter? 3D. So. Whereas this one. <laughs> What is it? It is a 3D movie. Oh, you yeah, look but it, it looks like it's washed out. And so it like it's washed it out. You're like showing. You're showing. You're okay. I'll guarantee you, it's got a better end title sequence than the bloody expensive. Uh, oh, this movies. is the first time I've seen this sequence where it's in English as well as Chinese. The credits coming down. Yeah, and it's a good. Two languages. It's really goodly well done, and like the other things, but basically they spend a hundred million dollars on the movie, and and they go pay some kid with a computer to do the title sequences at the end. Really, this one it, it is of all of the movies we've seen this summer. It's the only decent. I mean, Spielberg's movie, Cowboys and Alien, Aliens, sucked on the title sequence. I mean, okay, uh, I, I would tell people I've been in 1,200 productions throughout my life. Uh, most of my, a lot of what I did before I got old and grew up, you know, actually stopped. They, they no longer made westerns and war movies and do musicals, which means it put me out of it. I did sci-fi too, but not that much. But, um, um, okay, you want to see my title sequence, my, 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 my credits at the end? That would have been, you know, that little bit, that would have been like the credits. You'd have had, or, or the opening would have been, you know, Detective D in the Mystery of the Phantom Flame, you know, Tony Lung, Xiao Den, Kyrie Lau, Bing Bing Lee, and Andy Lau. Mm -hmm. That would have been it. That would have been it. But, you know, but they, they, now it's just like, uh, ten minutes of credits. Ten minutes of credits and ten, and you know, you can have a title sequence at the beginning of the picture, which we're talking about, that goes on for a half hour. I, I worked on a movie, on a short when I was in college that won the Academy Award. It was nothing but 15 minutes of titles, thanking everybody. Are you serious? That's all it was. Then, well, sorry, we don't have the money to make the movie, but we had to tell people. You know, the guy would come out in his tuxedo, you know, the college kid came out in his tuxedo, and we thank everyone for coming to this movie. Unfortunately, by the time we paid for the title sequence, we didn't have enough money left to make the film. <laughs> and they least the people in the short film is not a sense of humor. So, but um, no, but um, it is my my opinion. If if okay, it's better than the other crappy movies that we had our choices to go see. You know, it is, if you got a choice between what they're showing now, maybe up until now, for the last four weeks, there's been nothing on oh. which is. That's why we haven't been doing as many movie reviews. But part of it is for this, is, is it worth seeing it in the theater? Well, it's a very limited release. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're not likely to see it in the theater again. If it's, in, if it's, in, it's going to be it's bicycling from city to city. Most yeah. of them probably have film festivals in them. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're at a film festival, yeah, it's probably worth seeing it there. Yeah. Um, as far as seeing it on, on TV? You see, I would probably... Uh, or you would probably do a DVD release. Yeah, it would do. Probably it would do well among uh, action people on DVD. TV, it will be smaller screen, and it loses it. I mean, this is a movie that really does lose it on a small screen. Yeah, some movies just look better. On and so it's just a, you know, it's you unless know, you have a big screen. At this home. one is sort of an ambivalent. You know, it's just. I mean, we really screwed. You know, skewered Cowboys and Aliens. This is a decent little movie. It's got a big budget. Well, it's see, the reason we, Cowboys and Aliens, was they had the talent there. Oh, God, they had the talent, but they only and had they, one person involved that had ever been in a Western. And, and they hadn't done it well. This one, since I'm, I'm familiar with the Chinese talent, although they're supposed to be popular, I mean, you can see what they're trying to do. Okay. You watch it. If it happens to be on, watch it. Yeah. It's, it's not one of those ones where you say, like, oh, change the channel, don't watch it. It's like, uh -huh. yeah, it's. This is a, this is an all-star cast list. Mm -hmm. It is an all. It is the. Is you know it'd be you know just like Akira Kurosawa. In well, I have no idea. That basically is the guy that did the epic Japanese movies. Yeah, but part you of it is. You know, Do you love epics? If you like Chinese actors and actresses, I mean, yes, you need to see this. You need to see it. If you're not familiar with them, it's like. It's probably going to be something you don't want to go see, especially I'm you know. Um, you know, probably the version that will be released shortly after all the stuff is in. The Oscar stuff has got another two months to go, I think, for, you know, the, uh, the movies go longer because of the fact that a lot of the movies don't even come out until October because they try to, they, uh, they're movies that nobody would pay 20 cents to go see. This is what, that's the best picture, this is what I was reading, 
They said the Best Picture nominee probably hasn't even been in a film festival yet. Mm -hmm. So that's how you have to figure that out, that it won't even come out until next month. Mm -hmm. So they said that look at the movies that are out and you're probably not going to see any of them that had a chance of being the Best Picture. Because it's, uh, it's going to be a movie that's going to do one week like Detective D in Los Angeles. It's playing, played here one week so it can qualify for a foreign picture. You know, so that's the whole reason. But it's not going to because the other one, the, the, they said, this one is sweep, this is sweeping the major awards in, in Asia. But it's not doing that well out of the circuit. But it is picking up, it does pick up, it is picking up. Where, I mean, if it actually gets in there, it might have a chance. I mean, who would have thought that Game of Thrones or something or other would pick oh, up Emmys? Game, up, pick up the Emmys. Thrones, Games the of Thrones, Thrones or something. Yeah, they yeah should, like, They're all yeah. saying, Sean Bean, we need you. Yeah, it, that was pretty, I was like, yeah. and you should have seen that at Comic-Con, all the people that really wanted to go see that. Yeah, but it picked up creative. This is, this one has probably, I'll be honest, it will have a one in five chance of winning the awards. It possibly could win four costumes because it is really. It, it There's really, a lot of costumes. It is more of a co the, I would assume. I mean, I'll pick the others for art directions and and cinematography because there's a. You pick this one for common. I pick this. I would pick but this one for costuming. Usually it's it a really usually is, it's a British film like this. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, but uh, costume. They usually pick pick pieces. Oh, it did. Yeah, it picked up for best costume design. Oh, well, this so, one, the costumes are much more elaborate than the Crouching Tiger. Yeah, you because right? you've got a lot more people to costume to, and it's just not, they don't go over to, you know, over, you know, downtown Los Angeles and pick up costumes for a thousand songs. No, well, these are ones that they all had to create. And these were not things that I'd actually seen on people before in other movies. I do watch, I, I do watch those channels. I've really seen some epics made in Korea, which are really nice. About three movies. See, he's perfect for that. I know, but they, you know, these actors. I mean, like the Ken, Ken, Ken Watanabe was his star of one of these epic things on the Korean channel. He's, he's, he's about like this tall, and the other guys are like that. You know, he's general. He basically the chosen. He was basically the chosen reservoir. Was how that thing came about. Was a series I was watching, but uh, really great produced thing. But they do costume dramas the way the British used to do them. The British no longer are capable, I think, of turning out a really good, elaborate costume drama because they don't have the money to do it. Mm -hmm. Whereas these people, I don't know what they get paid, but they don't get paid enough for what they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, you actually, um, most people, um, Samuel Hung, who is the, I think, he was the art director in a lot of this, and he was the fight coordinator and the, and the second unit director, is a member of Jackie Chan's organization. And for people that don't realize it, I think Crouching Tiger, Hidden Monty, you know, <laughs> yeah, was was it was it a production of Jackie Chan's organization? So technically, Jackie Chan's company did pay for the money, paid for the mm -hmm. thing that made. I think he was happy to walk away with four or five hundred million dollars. Are you serious? Yeah, that's a lot of money. The mid, it's, the, it's the highest grossing foreign film ever made. Really? That was a good movie. Remember, it won all those Academy Awards. You know. I know. Yeah, well, that was that was one. Of, I'm trying to remember. Did they do it in English? I don't remember subtitles. Uh, they uh, they uh, subtitled it so they could get it as the best foreign thing, and then they released it totally in English. Oh yeah, that's why I'm kind of like. Where all the know. actors speak flawless English, and all of them speak flawless English. So did, they, so did they match the voices, or did they just read? Well, no, they just used their okay. Well, no, they uh, what it was is they they spoke the lines in English. And then when they went over, they did it. They actually dubbed it in, in Chinese. Chinese. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, because their audience is—they knew the audience for that one was not in China. The they knew that from the very beginning they had something. Well, they had Michelle at her young and best. They had Wu Michelle Yeo. Michelle Yeo was one of them. They had uh, Zhang Zi, young and athletic. Everybody was at their athletic best in that movie. They were at the right age. Everything they knew, you know. Um, uh, I don't know, I was watching a thing the other day with the actress Celeste Holm. She said, this is the most gut off of that blankety black turkey that I was ever going to be in. I knew it was going to suck. I knew it stuck. I knew it stuck. I knew it stuck. And then I started acting. Oh my God, we're going to win the Academy Award for Best Picture. 
Yeah, yeah, you know. And she said, and then she said, oh my God, she's got to win for best actress. She's got to win for supporting actor. She said, well, I knew. Did they win? Yeah, I'll win all. It's just what was it? Uh, three faces of me. You know, you know, it's won all these Academy Awards. And she said, it was the most god awful, horrible movie that I ever, but I was under contract and they made me do it. And then I get on the set. And it was magnificent. Everybody hated the movie. And then all of a sudden, they're all getting said, oh my God, we got something special going on. You know, it just, it gels. Something, it's like when you put the right cast together with the right material. It's why casting is very and important. Whoever cast it did a really good he job. He put everybody in the right spots, and it worked unreal. I mean, a great movie, you know, and... Um, I never saw it. No. <laughs> I, you know, it's a drama. I, had, I, I went to film school, folks. I used to see that stuff, and I sleep through it because they say, "Oh, Mister, you hey, know, can you tell us about what was going on?" And then I go up. Uh, let's see. George Sanders pushed pushed her down the stairs. She got mad. She got up. She shot George Sanders. George Sanders falls down the stairs. Okay, we've heard enough. <laughs> yeah, because I see these things. What's there in my head? I sleep through my film classes. You know, they're dark, and I did in the back of the room and go to sleep, and, and then they'd always try to catch me. And then I'd be, my eyes would be awake, and I'd see what the scene was on in front of me, and then I knew exactly what happened behind it. Then would you like me to tell you what happens next? I had another film class I had. You know, the instructor said, well, Mr. Honey, actually, Mr. What's his name, worked on this movie himself. Can he tell us what Frank Lovejoy is going to do next? Yeah, Frank Lovejoy's been on the son of a bitch. Yeah. So, he said, well, maybe Mr. Such and Such would rather be teaching this class than sleeping in a back room. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hated film class. You had to go to them. But, no. But um, we have our perspective on things. I, I, I had sort of figured that she wasn't going to really go wild over this, even though she's Chinese. But it's the thing, it's the only thing we've had in a month. Well, because part of it, you, you kind of know the types of movies that I really like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, and, you know, just guy, girls dancing on poles and, you know, swinging their swimsuits around the No. Couple, you know. Actually, I'm going to tell you, she grew up in a nun. Or it was an epic. It was two hours and two minutes. That yeah. was the writing time. Yeah, but it actually it didn't seem as long as, as cowboys and aliens did, though. That's true. It's an epic Thriller and um, now, epic action. They said that, that um, my, my fault with it by the fact that they basically washed out the production. Yeah. That nobody paid any attention to the script. For well, scripts, that Grandma would have been very unhappy with those people. And um, it's just uh, and then it, it's, it's. You know what I did like? Oh. Yeah. It, it, it really did. It just did slow down too much in parts. It did. But what I did like was when the people burst into flames. Oh, that was really Because the, the special effects for that were pretty Oh, cool. really good. <laughs> and uh, they're burning people up going, don't go out into the sunlight. Yeah. The fire turtles. But I'm going to give you a hint, hint, hint. If you pay attention to one of the scenes in the movie, they tell you where everybody is getting, everywhere is getting it. And in fact, everybody in the whole bloody room is doing the same thing, but only two people die. I know, I don't know. How is that? It's because... Nobody paid any attention to the script. I'm like... They would have known that everyone in the building should have died the instant they went out into the sun. Wow. They got infected. Everybody was infected. Everyone in the building. You see them all getting infected. You see, you know, the, the, the young blonde haired guy telling everybody that is what's causing their death. Yeah, right. Basically, the movie's over. But they didn't pull it in. They didn't I know, but they got to extend it. They got to prove it's right. Well, yeah. The detective just, has to. It, 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 see why the guy said at times it looks like Steven Spielberg's uh, Indiana Jones, and then at other times it looks like Dean Devlin's terribly done like very well, series. It's part of it since I don't even know who Dean Devlin is. Uh, he did uh, Independence Day. Oh, I know Independence Day. Yeah. I like Independence Day. Yeah. But the uh, Independence Day. Okay, remember uh, Noah Wiley's uh, librarian movies? No. You didn't see those either. We met Noah Wiley. I know. He gave I up the librarian those. movies to play a thing for Steven Spielberg, so. Mm. You know, but uh, no, but it's. You know, 
it, 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 it just, um, you know, it's an iffy. If you've got four weeks where there's nothing but help on. <laughs> you need to have help in a different way. Yeah. And basically, you want to go to the movies. That's, that's what sometimes some of these movies are about. Yeah, but okay. I'll give you, or I want to give you our final, our absolute final, final, final response to this movie. We didn't even buy popcorns and drinks for it. So what does that mean? <laughs> we always buy popcorns and drinks for movies. I know, but we were rushing in to go get there. Yeah, but we still had time because it took another 15 minutes after we got there before it came. They were doing the Academy Award screeners, folks. The only one that wasn't up for an Academy Award that they were pushing was Steel Man with Hugh Jackman. The others were all art pieces. You know, as could only be done by such and such. These are the movies that are coming in. I'm ready the for Steel Man. Yeah, but these are the movies that will be coming in over the span of the next month into that into that downtown basically in the complex. And they're gonna be rolling in all these movies. We were there when they were running a movie. We didn't but couldn't get we couldn't get in we could see it because I couldn't get into the computer. I didn't have the computer when I got a laptop and we can't get into it. But no, but this is the first movie we have been to that we did not buy drinks and popcorn. That's true. So so that would mean you know, it's just like if you don't buy drinks and popcorn, it's almost like well, we're here, but maybe we won't stay. <laughs> well, we're gonna buy we're gonna buy drinks or refillable popcorn if you're not gonna stay. So, <laughs> so that would be my best answer. If it, it it basically it lost the drinks and popcorn, you know, category, and I guess that's important to us because we we get a tub like that and make drinks. So we'll sit there and just eat meat while we're watching, and then we we'll go. You know, because she has to have the potty line. She goes out and brings more popcorn and more drinks in. Mm -hmm. So, but it, it did lose in that category. So I guess in a sense, it's uh, it did lose in the drinks and popcorn category for us. So that take that as our final conclusion. So until our next review, which hopefully will be. Well, hopefully up. there. there be actually, there'll probably be Steel Man in a couple of weeks. I'm hoping that there'll be something else that we would like to review. Yeah, but we had a choice between Contagion and Detective D, and I thought Detective D because Detective D basically is a festival movie that Detective D might probably be something we should actually go see for a change. Yeah. So, so guess what? There's a lot more coming. Well, we're going to keep doing this. You know, we're going to, you know, some people like our things, other people don't like them. So, but we are, we're going to give you an honest opinion. My opinion is from technical. Her opinion is from, you know, a consumer. You know, she's not she's not a real fond person for foreign movies with subtitles. <laughs> so that's already a downer for her. She went in, you know, uh, with a disappointment already. <laughs> yeah. So you know, but uh, you know, not all movies are made in English. Uh huh. So until next time, this is okay. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information. You can go to www.montebubble.net on the net or the uh, MBN, uh, MBN News Video Web Wire Service. Which has yes, we're all over the place. But if you go to montybubbles.net, then you'll find out all the different places where we are, which is yeah. all over the world. Yeah, all over the world. Over 50 some languages. Mm -hmm. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs>